Masculinity is a complex and often controversial topic, but it's also a key aspect of many men's self-identity and self-expression. What is toxic masculinity? How do you catch it? What's the cure? Well, according to the professor's article, toxic masculinity is the man's fear that he's losing his power. The term masculinity has rapidly increased in popularity in recent years and is commonly associated with toxic masculinity, even though is not the same thing. So is being masculine something bad? Male energy, male thinking, male energy is vilified. And you're, you're taught to think there's something wrong with being masculine. In this video, we'll explore some practical tips for cultivating masculinity and traits that are often assimilated with a masculine person. Follow all these steps and see if you can implement them into your life. First and most known is having a muscular body. Historically, men were often valued for their physical prowess, whether it be for hunting, fighting, or other activities that required strength and endurance. In many cultures, the ideal of masculinity has been associated with physical strength, muscularity, and athleticism. Taking care of your physical health and desiring to improve your looks is known to be a hard thing to obtain because it requires a disciplined mindset and a lot of training and dedication, which also shows how in control you are on your own mind. Two is facial hair. Having facial hair can be a prominent physical feature and can play a role in the perception of masculinity and has been associated with qualities such as maturity. Here are four types of facial hair styles. One, stubble, short rough facial hair that is the result of not shaving for a few days. Two, goatee, a small pointed beard that grows on the chin. Three, mustache, facial hair that grows above the upper lip. Four, beard, hair that grows on the chin, cheeks, and neck. Facial hair can be shaped and styled in a variety of ways to suit personal preferences. You may choose to groom your facial hair carefully with scissors, clippers, or razors, or you can keep a more natural look. Facial hair can be shaped and styled in a variety of ways to suit personal preferences. In some settings, facial hair may be seen as a sign of maturity and masculinity, while in others it may be seen as unkempt or unprofessional. Ultimately, the decision to grow and style facial hair is a personal choice. Even if it's considered a masculine trait, you can still choose to not grow your facial hair if you think that it doesn't suit you. 3. Have broad shoulders. Broad shoulders are typically characterized by a shoulder width that is wider than the hip width, which creates a V-shaped torso. Broad shoulders are associated with physical strength and power. This association may stem from the idea that broader shoulders provide a greater capacity for upper body strength and mobility, which can be useful in physical activities such as sports or manual labor. Broad shoulders can also be aesthetically pleasing and enhance a man's appearance in certain types of clothing such as tailored suits or athletic wear. They can be developed through exercise, particularly strength training exercises that target the shoulder muscles. Here are three exercises that can help you build broader shoulders. Four, firm handshake. Please don't be that guy that doesn't know how to do a proper handshake. A firm handshake is a form of nonverbal communication and is often seen as a sign of confidence, assertiveness, and respect. It can convey a sense of trustworthiness and competence, and it can help establish a positive first impression. A weak or limp handshake, on the other hand, can be perceived as a sign of uncertainty, weakness, or lack of interest. Five, confident body language. Confident body language refers to the nonverbal cues that convey a sense of confidence, self-assuredness, and control. It can be expressed through a variety of physical behaviors, such as posture, eye contact, facial expressions, and gestures. Some examples of confident body language include standing up straight with shoulders back, making direct eye contact with others, speaking clearly and calmly, using hand gestures to emphasize points, and maintaining a relaxed facial expression. These behaviors can indicate to others that a person is confident, competent, and in control of a situation. Confident body language can have many benefits, both in personal and professional contexts. In job interviews, for example, confident body language can help to create a positive first impression and convey a sense of competence and authority. In social situations, confident body language can help to attract others and build relationships. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.